Hey guys, April with Matt and April Finley.com coming to you today to talk to you about ripple effect. I did a post on my Instagram feed this morning that uh, I think it said never underestimate the impact of, of the ripple effect that you have. And this can be a good thing or a bad thing. You can, uh, your actions have a ripple effect, especially when you're in business for yourself and you're talking to prospects and you're talking to potential customers or team members. Um, the impression that you leave them with has a ripple effect. Um, if you walk away from the conversation, leaving uh, your prospects feeling like, wow, you know, this guy is just, you know, trying to get me to sign up. I didn't feel like he listened to me. Um, I don't really feel like he has a good understanding of what it is that I'm looking for or, or looking for in a business or an opportunity. Um, if you, if you walk away from your prospects, leaving them with that kind of impression, the chances are that they are not going to not only sign up with you, but they're probably going to unsubscribe from your email list. They're never going to buy anything from you. And they're just going to basically dismiss you in any other marketing that they see from you. Um, on a positive note, uh, you know, if you have a conversation with a person and you treat them like a human being and you treat them with respect and you're not shoving your, your products or your services or your opportunities down their throat, um, you know, you can begin to build a, a long-term relationship with people. And that's what we really want to do in this industry. Um, network marketing is about uh, building relationships with people and um, positioning yourself as an authority and a resource to other folks out there who are looking for for, uh, solutions to grow their business. So I was uh, watching a video by my good buddy Michael Sean McDonald a couple days ago and um, there was something else that he said in his video that, that made me think of ripple effect and it has to do with consistency in your business and the things that you do uh, every day to move your business forward. And Michael was making the point that you know, if you are, if you're going along and you miss a day of working your business, you, you know, you can think to yourself like, oh, I'll just make it up tomorrow. I'll just do that, that blog post or that video tomorrow. Michael was saying that you're actually wrong because um, you can't just go in the next day and do two pieces of content to make up for the one that you missed yesterday. He's saying that you're actually starting over. And um, what, what we mean by that is um, we, um, it's really important that you set a goal for yourself that you when you decide on a on a strategy that you're going to work on to grow your business you want to commit to 90 days minimum of, of that strategy. Um, you know, sometimes we tell people 30 days, 60 days, but honestly, the sweet spot for me is 90 days. If I'm going to sit down and I'm going to um, work on a strategy for getting leads or getting new signups to my business, I'm going to commit to that strategy for 90 days. So if I get, you know, 20 days into the process and I miss a couple days, it's not like I can go back and, you know, make four videos to post in one day to make up for those two days I lost. No. I'm actually having to start all over again because I missed those days that I didn't get in front of my audience. So um, the point here and how this all ties back to ripple effect, long story short, is that um, consistency also has a ripple effect. I talk to a lot of people who are just getting started in the industry and they get very discouraged very quickly when um, you know they've been at something for a few days or a couple of weeks and they're not seeing the kind of results that they're expecting. And I just want to, um, first off, you know, just give everybody a reality check that it it just a lot of times it just doesn't happen like that and to also encourage you to just make up your mind say I, I'm gonna stick with this thing whatever the thing is whether you're doing um, whether you're uh, doing ads on Facebook or you're doing an Instagram campaign or you're doing a video marketing campaign commit to stick with it for 90 days and then put your blinders up don't don't spend a lot of time looking at your results. Don't spend a lot of time getting emotionally uh, attached to your lead results every day or your, your signups or whatever. Just, you know, keep looking forward to that 90 day mark in the future and focus on that. And if you, if you put your focus on just completing that goal for yourself, you're going to see all kinds of results happen in between that space or towards the end of that space or immediately um, following that 90 day space. So get your mind off of that. Think about your content and your, your strategy having a ripple effect as you stay consistent with it. I'm April um, with madnaprilfinley.com. Guys, be sure to keep checking out our blog every day for fresh content, fresh tips on marketing and mindset to help you grow your business. Have an awesome day.